Well, what's going on, Jubitarians? This is Bradley Juby, and you guys know what day it is. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, don't think I was going to hold out on you guys. Today is Top 10 Thursday, and I've got a good one for you guys. Okay, you know, and of course, although I'm probably not planning on going this particular weekend, I am about to drop drop you guys the top 10 things to do in the Oklahoma City area. Of course, Oklahoma City has become a pretty cool place in the last few years and, you know, it's it's really turned around from years and years ago cuz years and years ago it used to not be that cool. But it's gotten pretty cool. You know, it's really changed a lot from when from the last 20 years or so, so so, and you're going to probably see a lot of the changes here on this countdown. So anyway, and uh, before I get to this, let me just tell you, all some of these are not exactly in Oklahoma City limits. I said the Oklahoma City area. So, so if I, because I'm probably going to mention a few of these in Norman, and you're going to be like, that's not Oklahoma City. Well, it's in the Oklahoma City area. Hence the reason why I say Oklahoma City area. So, don't get on my don't get on my butt about that. Well, anyway, let's let's stop talking and let's get to our number 10 and that's Andy's Alligator over in Norman. It's a pretty cool place. Um, it's it's a newly recent water park. It's got a bunch of other stuff, but uh, last year I was with Lauren at, uh, we went there, yeah. and it was very enjoyable. I enjoyed my time there with her. And now number nine is Whitewater Bay, which is yet another water park in the Oklahoma City area, although uh, I've heard it might have gone downhill since the last time I've been there, but I've been there twice, in 2001 with my best friend Randy Tillman, and in 2006 when I was at Job Corps. I've kind of hurt myself on some of those rides, but uh, it's a water park, but uh, I think the water parks are closed by now. You know, you kind of could still enjoy them right now, because it's, it's not freezing cold, it's still fairly warm, so... I just don't see why not. But then again, Labor Day is the unofficial end of summer. Yeah. Well, anyway. Now let's get to number eight. And number eight is Pops. It's in Arcadia, which is right east of Edmond. It's like right across the street from Edmond, city limits. It's about five miles east of... Um, on Route 66, it's five miles east of I-35 in Ed outside of Edmond, and it's five miles five miles to the east of the uh, Main Life Church campus. So, but anyway, Pops is a pretty awesome place. They've got all kinds of soda pop from anywhere and everywhere. I mean, um, and I've had some pretty good soda pops from there over the last few years. They got some good stuff. Um, they also have um, milkshakes. They've got uh, breakfast foods. It, it's diner foods. It's also a gas station if you need to fill up. Um, it was started by uh, the late, great Aubrey McClendon, who also was a co-owner of the Oklahoma City Thunder and Chesapeake Energy. So, you know, I know he got into some trouble last year and Sadly, apparently committed suicide, but uh, I still would love to thank you for that particular contribution and the thunder, of course. But, yeah. But anyway, I'll give you number seven is Frontier City. It is, pro it's, well, ever since Bells in Tulsa closed down, it's the only amusement park in the whole state of Oklahoma. It's the only. It's got the only roller coasters in the state of Oklahoma, and I haven't been there in nine years, but the last time I was there in 08, 
I had a blast riding the steel lasso. That was an awesome ride. I rode it nine or ten times. And it, get, and it got sweeter every time. I've been wanting to go on that ride for a long, long time since. Has it really been nine years since I last been on that ride? Wow. Since I've been to Frontier City? And if you like, if you like, uh, I don't know, a, uh, a, um, a tribute to the, to Oklahoma's Old West heritage, you, you'll have Frontier City. Now, number six, of course, is a bit of a solemn one. It's still an interesting thing to do, but, uh, you're kind of going to be a little bit depressed, but it's still something you need to visit if you go to Oklahoma City area, and that is the Oklahoma City National Memorial. Um, it's just, it kind of gets at you, you know, you know, because lots of Oklahomans were affected by that whole incident, and, you know, it has changed the city for the better, though. I think it's become a better city since then, but, uh, still, when you, when you see all those chairs and you think, you stood where one of the worst evils in American history ever happened, well, one of the worst, there's been a lot of other ones, but it's like you're standing right where a bomb went off and 168 people were dead. That's sad. That's crazy. In fact, I did go, the first time I went there was uh, in 2012, uh, I was hanging out with Adam Pena during Big Cedars, and I felt, I felt I had to go there, but I did take a picture of it with the... the the thunder banners on the built on the other buildings in downtown, and so I felt like it was kind of a, I don't know. It's so sad, but I bet you those uh, those fallen Oklahoma City peeps would love to see NBA basketball in Oklahoma City, and that's why I think about them every time the Thunder play. So, so um. I will never forget April 19th, 1995. All right. Well, anyway, uh, number five is, of course, Bricktown. Now, Bricktown is just boss, just and especially if you're going for a Thunder game. But that's a little crazy. But uh, they really got some really pretty sweet stuff. Um, they got Texadelphia. That's a pretty good place. If you like Philly cheesesteaks, they got Fuzzies. If you love tacos down there. Uh, they've got uh, Earl's Rib Palace. Um, they've got uh, Toby Keith's I Love This Barn Grill, although it is kind of pricey. Um, Mickey Mantle Steakhouse. The, the Bricktown Ballpark's pretty cool. Um, uh, and I got a lot of other stuff. Oh, where, where else have I other been? Oh, the Harkins Theater's pretty sweet. And Sonic's got its corporate headquarters in there. And there's actually a Sonic that you can walk in and eat at in there. So go to Bricktown. It's awesome. Uh, number four is Penn Square Mall. And I think it's pretty good. I was there recently at during Empowered with the crew from uh, James Austin's church in Cushing. It's pretty good. They got some good stuff, although... The food court's kind of the same, a bit, a way bit of the same as uh, Woodland Hills, but uh, ah, still good. Uh, number four is the Medieval Fair of Norman. Oh gosh, if you don't go to Medieval, I mean, if you don't go to Medieval Fair, you miss out. You're missing out. I mean, if you love jousts, if you love knights, if you want to see the Sir, if you want to see the Knight of Thunder, Sir Bradley Juby of Thunder. Hit me up. Oh man, they got good turkey legs. They got uh, bangers and mash. They got pirates. If you like pirates and mermaids and knights and nerds, and you can go get knighted, which is what I did three times. Oh man, belly dancers and camels and. All kinds of stuff. It's like a throwback. It's like a cultural experience in and of itself. Okay. I'm kind of needing to wind this down. Uh, number two is, uh, of course, even though I haven't done it yet, I'd like to do it this year, but Oklahoma Sooner football. Oh, my gosh. Man, I have really never been to Norman on a game day, but I'm telling you, I've got to go one day. 
Got to, got to, got to. I mean, it is an experience like no other, and it's one that I'd like to participate in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get to number one, and that's, of course, Oklahoma City Thunder basketball. I have experienced it many, many times, including a playoff game back in 2013, game one of the first-round series with Houston. Um, but anyway, that was a pretty awesome game. But I've, I've been to some pretty awesome games with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And the only time I've ever been to a regular season loss was le was 2015 against the New York Knicks. That kind of ended my streak. That ended my streak. Sorry. Well, okay, I, I ran a little too much on this one. Um, so that's the top 10 things to do in the Oklahoma City area. Before I go, hit me up for free format Friday tomorrow. I think Lauren's got some questions, so if you hit me up, we'll, I will address your questions. Well, anyway, God bless. This is Bradley Jr.